my friends, this is Sherry from Organizing and Deals. I'm here today to answer a question that was commented uh, by one of my subscribers. Hopefully she's a subscriber. But uh, yeah, I would appreciate subscription, uh, subscribing, uh, liking, commenting, and hitting that notification bell so you can get my, uh, you know, if I have my next videos. But uh, she, the question was, how do you set the timer on this Gourmia coffee maker? Okay, so I got this on a um, Black Friday, this past Black Friday, for $15. Mine is working great. I know there was a comment that said that someone got a kind of a one that was leaking or something, but uh, I think that most people are not having trouble. Maybe that one was dropped somewhere along the way, but, uh, you know, in shipping or something or in the store. But anyway, mine has been awesome. Everything works. I've made iced coffee. I make coffee every day. You know, hot coffee. So anyway, let's deal with the clock today. So I, I actually accidentally um, unplugged mine today. So let's go down. I'm going to take you down. I just wanted to show you what it looked like in case you hadn't seen it. So here is my clock. It's blinking because, like I said, I accidentally unplugged it. So first, we're going to um, set the clock. So set the clock. Let's see, what time is it here? It is 4.09. So set, let me set the clock. Uh, here, I push the set time. And it's blinking. Uh, let's see. Let me see how, it, there it goes. Set time, okay. Now I want to set it to, what I say, 4.09. So set, let me get it back. You got to get the first two um, things blinking there. I have to get it on PM because it is PM. So let's go around again. Okay, it's on the two, three, go all the way around. Now it's on PM, so we're going to get it to the four, leave it on four. And then the dots, I think, will start blinking in a second. Oh, now the, now the minute. So let's get it. It was 4.09 when I looked at the clock. Let's go to 4.11. And that will stop blinking in a second. Okay. Now we want to set the brew later time. So the second button here is brew later. So we're going to push that. I want to set it for 5.30 a.m., I usually get up by 5.30, 6 o'clock a.m., so if I hit it 5.30, that should be good. So let's hit brew later. This is setting the, the clock for tomorrow morning for my coffee to automatically start. See the how the first one's blinking, then the second one. Okay, let's start over again. Brew later, first one should blink. Whoops. Brew later, first one's blinking, set time. 5 a.m., there's 5 a.m., now the minutes will start blinking in a second. Minutes, let's set it to 5.30. Go all the way to the 30. Make sure it's on AM or PM, whatever you want. If it's not on AM, just go around again. Okay, 5.30, and it should stop blinking. And then it goes back to your current time, 4.12. So you are set um, the brew later when you want it to, you know, like the night before you want to hit the button. You see how it's green? Right now it's ready to go. At 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning I should, it should start bring, brewing my coffee. Just don't forget to put your water in your coffee <laughs> the night before. And then you push the button. It's on green as you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but it is on green. And then it should brew. Just don't forget to put your water and your coffee in there and you're all set. So thanks for watching. I hope that answered the question. Any more questions, let me know. I'll be glad to answer. I did a separate video on the iced coffee. So you can look back on my channel and look for that. And I've also done a review on this really inexpensive but really good coffee maker. Thanks for watching. See you next time.